Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to my 12, uh, 12 SPSS tutorial. Uh, I do recommend watching my previous episodes because they explain a lot on SPSS, but you are not obligated to do so because each episode discovers a, uh, covers a different topic. Uh, and today we'll look at the paired samples t-test. You use this t-test when you're comparing two groups which are related to each other and which influence each other. And most of the times this is because it is the same group which is measured over time. Uh, and today we will be testing whether uh, a confidence building course uh, helps in decreasing the fear of statistics because everybody uh, is afraid of statistics of course and uh, that's why uh, the respondents took a course uh, on confidence building and we want to test whether uh, their fear of statistics decreased because of this confidence building course so you're measuring it uh, to, uh, so you're measuring uh, it one-sided and your alternative hypothesis would be uh, that uh, the fear of statistics uh, is lower when um, is lower when you uh, took the confidence building course. Okay, so how do you do it on SPSS? You go to analyze, uh, compare means, the uh, paired samples t-test, and then you select a pair. In this case, it's the uh, FOST1 and FOST2. FOST stands for fear of statistics measured before the course, so in period number one and fear statistics measured in period number two, which is after the course. So you're comparing the same group and you're comparing um, yeah, whether their fear of statistics decreased between period one and two. So you press paste, then you go to the syntax, you select the syntax code and you press run it. And then you get three tables. If you look at the first table, you can see the means of this group during the first period and the second period. And you can see that during the first period, so before the course, it was 40.47. And after the course, it's 37.33. So you can see on first glance that the, their fear of statistics decreased because of the course. But you want to know whether this is significant or not, because we're doing it in a yeah, statistic way. So you look at the paired samples t-test, and you can look at the far right at the significance, uh, which is 2 tilt, which is 0.01. Uh, this is lower than the alpha of 0.05, and therefore you can conclude that yes, this effect is significant and therefore you can reject the nil hypothesis. So yes, the confidence building course does significantly decrease your fear of statistics. You could have also concluded this from the 95% confidence interval because the lower boundary is 1.514 and the upper boundary is 4.753. And zero is not in this interval. And if zero is not in this interval, it means the effect is significant. Okay, so uh, that's how a uh, paired samples t-test works. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye.